reunion with FAQ KB again, Tour 2020. Engineers working to restore the water supply to thousands of homes and businesses in Cumbria after Storm Sierra has finished repairing a mains pipe. The major incident was occurred after the damaged pipe near Kendall threatened suppliers to about 8,000 properties. United Utilities said it was slowly pushing water back into supply across the network, but the firm said it would take some time to put 90 million litres of water into the system as it's needed to be done gradually to avoid the risk of pipe bursting. Free bottled water will continue to be available for anyone affected for the next few days until we are confident everything is back to normal. About 400 people have protested protested out, outside the Senate against the closure of an A&E department. Comtaf Health Board have, have said doctor shortages meant, meant it was considering closing the department at Royal Grandmont in Lancastrian either, either completely or overnight. Samantha Jones, whose, whose baby's life was saved by, by staff at the AME said closing the department would put lives at risk. The health board said action was needed to avoid risk to patient, patient safety. After uh, assembly members uh, from across the party divide who oppose the plans have been warned people will die if, if soon service is closed. But in, in the debate, in the Senate on Wednesday, Health Minister Ron Gethin has said they they need to rub against against the reality of staff recruitment problem. Staff staffing levels at all Comtaf A and E units at, at the Royal Grand Morgan Hospital, Merthyr Merthyr Tydfil's. Prince Charles Hospital and Princess of Wales Hospital in Bridgend are well below UK UK wide standard. CBBC and CBBC programmes could be at risk if the BBC is put behind a paywall. The broadcaster's chairman will warn. During a speech in Salford, Sir David Clarity is expected to list an example of huge national events that will no longer be accessible to all under a subscription-based model. Sir David is going to claim that it will be not, no longer be possible to provide regional and local coverage at the same level or invest in homegrown ideas and talent to benefit of, of our world creative sector. The Chamber will insist that the BBC is open to a broad conversation about its future and how it is funded and that pu the public must be reminded about what is at stake before any decisions are made. There's a about 26 million TV licenses being used in the UK last year, which generated the income of 3.69 billion for the BBC. There has even been hints that the license fee model could be abolished completely. Some politicians have suggested turning the BBC into a subscription service similar to Netflix, but the BBC supporters have responded by prompting pointing out that Netflix does not cover news. A few weeks ago, the broadcaster said it is planning to cut around 450 jobs to save 10 million of pounds. Members of second, secondary school teachers union will get, get involved today in a dispute over, over management reconstru reconstructing that has brought, brought staff from secondary schools out, out on strike. National Education Union, NEU, with um, members at Cullion Comprehensive School will, will take part in what the uni union is calling a joint day of action with NASUWT members from, from this school and Lankow One High. Together they are seeking a change of direction by Newport City Council on the, la on the latter's proposed changes at the schools. Members of both unions pla plan to deliver a letter on, on the issue to Councillor Gail Guide's cabinet member for education and the council in inter interim sh chief executive Sheila 
that day. Sheila Davis is modded today at NASWWT staff staff at Clang Clangway High School. Uh, are on the second of three days of strike strike this week. Well, Kalyan comprehensive are on the second of two days of strikes this week. The NAS UWT fears that the proposed reconstructing of middle middle man management at Kalyan Comprehensive great damage to the academic le leadership and may involve staff demissions and potential do job losers. Although the council has said previously that no compulsory redundances are pending at the at the school, Newport C City Council has expressed disappointment over the strike action, and a spokeswoman said, "A public all public services across across Wales have been affected by this aust austerity." Cheerless of just about an, an enormous 30 day UK tour as they make their musical comeback with the Beats Again Tour 2020. And we've got everything you need to know to make sure you can be there. Journalists have just announced that they're getting back together for a reunion of people who have been waiting for so long. And their comeback includes a massive UK tour to bring everyone their greatest hits, including One Shot, Beat Again, and Everybody.